This video is sponsored by Big Daddy Unlimited. They have a subscription package that can save the outdoor enthusiast a lot of dough. Here's how it works. You sign up for a 30-day trial membership for just 99 cents, and you'll have access to their complete online inventory. After 30 days and you want to keep it going, it's just $9.95 a month. Check them out at BigDaddyUnlimited.com. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at five of my favorite full-size 9mm handguns. And let's start right here with the CZ75 SP-01. This is a great handgun. It's very heavy. It's a very soft shooting handgun. It has an all-steel frame, mags that carry 19 rounds, and its loaded weight is 49 ounces. So it has some weight behind it. 4.6 inch barrel, full rail on the dust cover, rubber grips. This is meant to be carried cocked and locked. Right there, that safety, that thumb safety will lock up the, the slide and the trigger. But the trigger, I'm measuring the single action pull right at four pounds with a reset right there. Fixed night sights, an excellent gun. I also have the Phantom that is the same but polymer. If I had the Shadow 2, I would bring that out, but I don't have the Shadow 2. I will one day. That part, I guarantee I will have one day. But let's go ahead and take a few shots. I believe I have eight rounds loaded. And that's it. CZ 75 SP01. Great handgun. Love it. And it's one of my faves. Here we have the Grand Power X Caliber. It's a full size race gun with a five inch barrel, 15 round magazines, a rotating barrel, all right, that softens the shot a bit. You can see that the barrel is fluted. Fiber optic front sight, adjustable rear sights, does have an accessory rail there, ambidextrous controls, both slide stop and thumb safety. The single action trigger, right around three pounds, very light, you have to be careful. It's a feather trigger with a reset right there. But since I've owned this, it's been a great handgun. It does have a polymer frame on there. I think I mentioned 15 round magazines. I think people really need to look at the Grand Power line. They make some phenomenal handguns. They're not as common as your Glock and your M&Ps and so forth, but they are phenomenal. Let's go ahead and take a few shots. Yep, the Excalibur, just as I remember it. Very smooth trigger pull, nice shooting handgun. A lot lighter than the CZ75 SP-01, but I love them both. Here we have the Springfield Armory XDM Elite 4.5 with a 4.5 inch barrel. The Elite models are so nice. They made some improvements. This does have a 20 round mag loaded with 21 rounds. You're looking at 37 and a half ounces. Does have interchangeable back straps, a flared out mag well that is removable, a U in the back metal sight, fiber optic front sight, wider serrations, a flat trigger, breaks right at five pounds with the reset right there for the follow-up shots. Has the loaded chamber indicator bar that sticks up, a striker fire indicator, you name it. It is feature loaded, ambidextrous, magazine release, and slide stop. Both sides definitely left-handed friendly. Let's take a few shots. Yeah, it is one fine shooting Handgun. Love this gun. I knew when it came out, I had to have the Elite model. I went with the 4.5 inch barrel and I have no regrets. Anybody who watches this channel knows that this gun would be coming up. The Breda 92X Performance. I often consider this one of my favorite, if not my favorite, 9mm pistol right here. It's an excellent handgun. It is heavy. All steel frame. Does have a Vertec style grip on there. That's what Beretta calls it. A little more vertical, a little thinner. Very nice grip texturing, back strap and front strap, extended beaver tail, skeletonized hammer, adjustable rear sight, brigadier slide, fiber optic front sight, a rail on the dust cover, 
a Extreme S trigger. That's what Brett is calling it. Four pound single action trigger pull with a reset right there. Can hardly see it. Sawtooth, serrations. I can go on. Frame mounted, thumb safety, it um, flared out mag well. This, this pistol has it all. When they came out with the 92X performance, I knew that this was the one for me. And it has been. It's been great. Let's go ahead and take a few shots here. Yes, I love this handgun. This versus the Shadow 2 would be a great comparison, and I'm looking forward to doing that one day. But right now, it's right here. The Breton 92X Performance. Love it. All right, I'm going to cheat a little bit with this one. Nobody thought that Walther would be able to outdo the PPQ. Huge fan club there. A lot of people love the PPQ, but they did with the PDP models. This is a four inch barrel. I'm cheating. Let's pretend this is the four and a half inch barrel so that I could use it in this full size review. It is optic ready. They have a performance duty grip on there that is just as comfortable as the PPQ, but uh, heavier stippling. Super terrain serrations. That's what Walther calls it. Three dot sights, optic ready. A trigger that is performance duty I'm measuring right at four pounds also a shorter travel takes the same 15 round PPQ mags ambidextrous slide stop and a rail this is a phenomenal gun that Walther introduced a couple months ago they did a great job with it they came out with an optic ready pistol that mimics the PPQ but made it much better with the performance duty enhancements and Made it optic ready that so many people love. All right, here we go. Once again, we're pretending four and a half inch. There it is. Walther PDP. I didn't see it coming. And so whoever said, you know what? We're gonna make the PPQ even better. Somebody must have said, you gotta be crazy, but then they came out with this and they definitely did it. And this is also replacing the very popular Walther PPQ. So there it is. Those are my five favorite full-size nine millimeter handguns. Let me know what you think of my choices and let me know what you think I missed or your favorite choice for a full-size nine millimeter handgun and we'll get the conversation started. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.